over 550 megs of free memory on my 4K Fire Stick. How? Well, let me introduce the latest version of the TDUK Fire Stick Debloat tool. So what does this toolbox do? Well, it's a very easy to use simple toolbox and it allows you to disable background running Amazon processes. Now these things are running in the background, whether you're using those at different services or not. And each of these things consumes memory and also valuable CPU cycles. And as you guys know, the more things you have running in the background, the less free memory you have on your device. And when your memory starts running low, that's what affects the performance of your device. And you typically then start seeing buffering in your applications. Now using the latest version of this toolbox, we can actually disable about 90 different processes from running in the background on your Fire Stick. So that really is a lot of things that we can potentially disable, which in turn means that your device should perform just so much better. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get the latest version of this toolbox. I'll then take you through the different processes because you have to understand that when you do disable so many things, it is gonna cause certain applications or certain things to stop working on your device. So just so you can fully appreciate exactly what you're doing, I'll take you through all of those processes. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to begin this process on your Fire OS 6 device, just head over to your settings, go over to MyFi TV, go to developer options, and just make sure both these options are set to on. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key, and let's now open up Downloader. Inside Downloader, we can type in a special code, which is just 53402 and this will take you directly to my website. So type that in, click on go. Once you get to my site, let's click on the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get the latest version of the Diblo tool for Fire OS 6 devices. So let's open that up and here it is. So let's scroll down. Now the key thing you have to understand is that because you are disabling system processes on your device, so certain things that were working before or certain applications may stop working. But the way I see it is if you're not using a certain application or a certain service, then there's no harm in disabling it. Let's scroll down. And here is the list of all of the packages or processes that we can disable with my toolbox. And I've tried my best to add annotations for them. So for example, that you know, if you disable this, you'll be turning off your A word, your smart assistant. Uh, if you turn off this one here, you'll be turning off your USB drive access. If you disable this one here, you'll turn off your Amazon free time. So again, if you're not using these services or these features or these applications, then there's no harm in you turning them off and freeing up that memory. Now in terms of detail, you will see a lot more information and detail on my website versus what you see in the actual toolbox. But ideally the way I like to do it is once this toolbox goes out, you guys can test it. You guys can report back and say, oh, when I turned off, like this com.amazon.cardinal affects your wallpaper or something else. So hopefully using your feedback, we can collaborate. I can get all of that information together and add that into the next release of the toolbox, which will hopefully make it even better than before. Okay, let's scroll down. Here we can see the stuff for the Amazon updates. And the reason why I've written like one of three is just so you know that um, there's actually three processes that you have to disable to completely block Amazon updates. And under all of that, we have the link to the TDUK Fire Stick V4 Deblo Toolbox. So let's scroll down and click on the green download button. So install that onto your device. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key. Let's now open up the toolbox for the first time. So the very first time you open up the toolbox, you will have to authorize ADB debugging. So click on always allow and click on okay. So the first thing that the toolbox does, it does a scan of your system and it shows you which of the processes are already disabled. So here we can see on my device, I pretty much disabled everything. Now on your device, when you first start here, it may look like this. If I click on the box in the top right, this allows you to alternate between select all and select none. So yours may look like this. 
Now, for example, if you want to disable everything because you don't really use any of the Amazon services, you just want to have maximum free memory and give your device the best possible performance, you can just go to the top, click on this, make sure everything is highlighted and click on the play button on the top right. When you do that, this will then run those ADB commands in the background and disable all of those processes on your device. So now when I press the back button and we can now see that everything is ticked. Now, if you just put the free memory to one side and really I'd say probably just the biggest benefit of debloating your device or you know stopping these processes from running is just how snappy your device becomes because all those things running in the background have now been disabled. So let's press the home key for a second. So really just navigating around, you know, moving things, clicking on things, it really does seem to be a lot snappier than before because again, those things, 90 things have now been disabled in the background. So those things are not running anymore. Therefore, they cannot consume any of your CPU or RAM resources. And let's go back to the toolbox. Now, let me tell you some of the critical things that if you do disable everything, what's that actually going to mean? So let's go to the top. Now, probably one of the key ones is this one here, and this only applies to you if you set up a Fire Stick, configure applications, you then unregister the device and give this to somebody else to register. Now, if this process is disabled, as it is at the moment, that means if I now unregister my Fire Stick and give it to my friend or my neighbor, they will not be able to join any Wi-Fi networks during the setup process because this is the actual process that manages that. So if you are a person that sets up Fire Sticks like that, then make sure you don't disable this one here. Let's scroll down. So there's actually four processes for Prime Video. So if you are a Prime Video user, then obviously don't disable that. Now let me just show you something, how easy it is to disable and enable something. So here, for example, we can see this one here, which is mentioned on my website, is actually for the IMDB TV. So if you do want to use the application, then don't disable this. Now we can see on my device, it is disabled. So watch what happens now when I press the home button, go to settings, go to applications, go to manage install applications. And because that process is disabled, we can see I have no access to IMDB TV. Now let's say for example, I do want to access it. I can simply press the home button, go back to the toolbox, click on one thing. Now the easy way to get to the play button at the top right is just by pressing right on your remote. That takes you straight to the top. Let's now click on that. So we're now allowing one extra process or enabling one process. Let's now press the home button, go back into settings, go back into applications, manage and install applications, and literally like that guys, just one quick tick, and we've now enabled this. So that's really the benefit of the toolbox that you can very easily enable and disable processes and really just get the best from your Fire Stick. Let's back out of that. So this is actually for the system status monitor. So we can see on my device, it's currently disabled. So I'll press the home button, go to the developer tools menu. And what happens? I don't see the developer tools menu because those two processes that use that have now been disabled. So again, if you want to access that, let's press the home button, go back into the toolbox. Let's enable these two. Let's press the right on the remote, click on the play button. Those two have now been enabled. Let's press the home button. Let's now click on this and we can see that the developer tools menu is now working once again. And if any of you guys are still with me in this video, then if you leave the comment below hashtag fire stick, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. Okay, let's back out of that. So this one here is actually for the A word smart assistant. So again, if that's something that you don't use on your device and you want to free up that memory, you can disable it. So for example, on my device, if I press the mic button, nothing happens because again, that's now been frozen in the background. It cannot run on my system anymore, allowing me to reclaim that valuable system memory. But again, if I want to use that service or I now decide that I would like to use that particular feature, I can just untick that, go to the top, click on the play button, that then gets enabled. I can now press the home key. And if I press the mic button now, what's the weather in London? And that just works straight away. So. That's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you have been asking for the latest version of this toolbox. I think the previous version, which came out about three months ago, had about, I think, 30 or 40 processes. 
Whereas with this latest version, we can actually freeze up to 90. The more things we have disabled in the background, just you know, navigating on your device, moving around, clicking on things, it really does seem to be so much snappier because all those things are not running in the background anymore. And I will be releasing a separate toolbox for the later Fire OS 7 devices, like the Fire Stick Lights and of course the second generation Fire TV Cube. So if you guys wanna check that out, make sure you are subscribed. Please do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this toolbox and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.